Well, I think we got a new record for sleds to go down in one day and all because of the same issue. We had three sleds go down, all because of clutching. Polaris was the first to go down. We were able to get that one fixed on the trail and carry on. Galaxy Cat was the second to go down. Uh, secondary clutch issues. You can see in there that uh, the bolt broke off holding on the secondary clutch. So we were able to limp this one home, wasn't so bad. And then even mine was uh, third to go down because of something is going on in my clutches too. We're gonna get into it today and see what's going on in there. There's something sticking in the uh, primary clutch or there's a spring broken in the secondary here that I just can't see because it was shifting very strange. Uh, the belt is shot, I know that much, but it was still walking around on me and just hooking up overall freaking weird. I'm gonna figure out this sled first, what's going on uh, with it. But it's a beautiful day, birds are chirping, snow is melting, so let's work kind of outside here. It's nice out. Let's at least start it up and see exactly what that clutch is doing if it's wobbling anything crazy like that. <laughs> say everything there is looking pretty normal so we'll hop the belt back on it and uh, see what it does. And I can actually, believe it or not, already feel the difference there. So I'm thinking, hoping whatever I just did, the fixer. around a little bit not as bad as it was but one more thing I want to try here I got to take the belt back off again to do it I'm gonna polish off these clutch faces and see if uh, there's something I can't see or feel without actually taking off the primary because I haven't done that and I can't right now so we're gonna polish off those clutch faces and see if that makes a difference it's still walking around a little bit belt now we're gonna try a different belt brand new brand new belt eliminate that yeah I it wouldn't make sense that it's the prior or the secondary because it's not holding it tight it's like the belt's too fat it's biting on the side of the primary yeah it shouldn't be. yeah so I don't think the secondary is the problem And don't you guys be telling me that my belt deflection is not right and that's why it's happening because it's not what's causing it. I need a different shimmer for this. This one will not do. This would be, actually, you know what? This would actually be the perfect shimmer. Oh, use How much are these half bags? 200 bucks? Pretty much. <laughs> Everything's 200 bucks. Everything's freaking expensive. There is not a lot of space in that half bag. No. It, it fits the drone and that's it. Ah, oh, shit, it would be good for my camera gear. Man. Yep. My camera bag and... That's what I use it for.
fuck. He's going. He's probably gonna go. I should be able to pull that belt through. Clutches. Could be a bad motor mount. No. No? That went through your clutch out of one. Yeah. That's way too tight now. No, that wouldn't throw it out that far. Ooh. I think I gotta pull off that clutch and see. Oh, you didn't put Nigel's secondary on. Oh, secondary's not the problem. Secondary is fine. It is holding the belt the way it should be. It's this guy here that's the issue. I can't see it at the bottom. So wondering if I'm just still not getting it clean enough. It's warped. Mm -hmm. Don't think I got my clutch puller here. I'd really feel to take this clutch off. Let's see what's going on. Actually, I think that it's cracked. It looks weird here. Something looks funny. Something looks funny. I don't know what it is. Sometimes you just gotta loop her up. there you have it primary clutch issues uh, sorry I still don't have my studio mic I'm freaking looking for it right now I think I know where I put it but uh, don't have it yet so I'm gonna get that clutch completely replaced I'm not sure exactly what happened I think I ended up cooking it and it was probably that day on frisbee I think I know exactly the day that um, basically did it in <laughs> guess that it progressively just got worse from there those Articat clutches aren't great they're all team clutches now uh, from 2016 up is all team clutching which I've found to already be a lot less uh, failure on I haven't had a whole lot of failures on the team clutches yet I'm gonna get that fixed so I can do some more Alberta ripping this weekend uh, me and the old man might go out for a day and if I don't get that fixed guess what the phase is coming out for another day but I would kind of like to be able to ride my M because I know how much snow there is out there Got a lot of people guessing on what the failure was, and now you know, cracked and twisted clutch and a little bit cooked at the same time. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe, uh, smash that like button down below, and get ready for some more sledding right before, uh, before bike season comes. Still got a little while, got lots of awesome spring riding to be done yet, and hey, see everybody in the next one.